Welcome back to Ravens Report, and I'm here with Ladarius Webb. And, and Webb, I want to get right to it. The team has lost three straight in a row. As a leader in that locker room, what's the mentality of this football team? How are you guys going to get back on track? I uh, mean, just, just keeping the young guys, you know, positive. You know, um, we know we got a great squad, man. Um, offense look good. Defense look good, man. Uh, we do some great things. We just got to learn how, to, you know, to finish some games. Um, for me, man, I just want the guys to come out and just go back to work. You know, um, once we learn from the mistakes and the losses, you got to move on. We got more games to play. You know, we got to play against the Jets. And, you know, the corners kind of didn't have a great game, but I need them this week. So my thing is, let's come to work. Let's get better this week. So when we play the Jets, we'll be, you know, on our A game. And there's nobody better to help those guys get back on track in the secondary than you. You made the transition from corner to safety this offseason. What's the biggest difference in your preparation? You know, I got to know that the defense in and out. You know, um, I got to put guys in in their spots you know back when i was at corner i used to listen to ed reed you know listen to the safeties and they give the call but now i'm the guy to put the guys in the right spot and you know i want to i have to study the game longer now more inside out because i want to put the guys in the right position you know and having eric weldo back there you know helping me make the adjustment you know um, learning how to be a safety learning how to be a leader he's just like a quarterback on the defense you know so i'm learning while I'm still teaching the young guys things. So it's, it's a fun year for me. Last week, Odell Beckham Jr. goes off in the second half of that ball game, finishing with eight catches for 222 yards. How are you guys going to eliminate the big plays moving forward? You know, we lost one of our uh, top corners. Jimmy Smith went out, you know, we lost draw power. So we had to move some guys around in the secondary. And once you do that, once you get to your third and fourth corner, you need to kind of know where the dominant guys are on the field. And I don't think we did a great job of um, finding where it was at, you know, and that's some things that me and Weldo have to, you know, get better at. That's something we're going to learn from. So next time things start going rough, we're going to find that guy who can break the game open at, at any play. I want to talk to you about one of your guys that had a good game, Tavon Young. Yes. What are some of the things that you've seen from the young guy? Man, a competitor. Uh, reminds me of myself, man. He doesn't back down. You know, we can play him on the outside at corner. We can play him in the inside at the nickel bag. We can blitz him a little bit. He can tackle. Um, he, he comes to practice, you know what I mean? He's, he's still learning how to be a professional. That's the thing that I'm helping him with, just being a professional, getting on your weights, you know, knowing how to study. But he's a great guy, man. He, he's learning. He know how to let things go. And those are the type of guys we want in our locker room, you know? That's how you learn what type of guy that you have, um, the way they bounce back when, when things are not going good. So, um, but Tavon, man, I know we got us one. Well, I appreciate your time. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me.